Hi guys, you're welcome to the fifth model of this particular application, which is polishing this uh, particular uh, app. Whereby we're going to we'll be showing the error message, we're going to show the weather data view, and we're going to integrate the progress bar. Right there in the main activity, uh, we have the, uh, the error message display. Whereby we're going to find the text view for the error message using the find view by ID, and uh, we're going to use the display error, and we're going to hide each if there's no errors so that's where we call the id and we're going to have a progress bar uh the progress bar will indicate to the user that we are loading data and it will be hidden when the data is loading please note this is so-called progress bar this is a bar by default it is more of a circle we didn't make the rules or the names of views we just follow them what about we have m loading indicator we cast off the progress bar to get the id of it and uh, which is the PB loading indicator after which we'll load the weather data you know that's just what we do uh, right there we have the show weather data view first we make sure the error is invisible uh, we set the, the visibility to invisible afterwards it's now set the visibility to what visible uh, we also have the show error message however we hide the current visible data you know invisible you know set visibility to invisible afterwards you not show the error which is uh visible uh right there you have the uh, application uh integrated with error message and uh the show weather data view with also uh a progress bar which is actually going to uh communicate with the user what is actually happening uh before loading the weather data in our next tutorial, we'll be talking about the recycler view. How are we going to bring out this list right into the recycler view? Right there, it's still just an mere list, you know, but we need to integrate it into the recycler view. So stay tuned and uh, don't go anywhere.